Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Previously, we explored to the cliffs west of Cyanwood, and we entered the Safari Zone. Now, the Safari Zone ended up being a lot different than I thought it would be, so I ended up changing my rules for the Safari Zone on the fly, and I made it so that I can only get one Pokemon from it. And that's probably for the best, because I have a lot of Pokemon already. <laughs> um, so this time, this time we're going to challenge two gyms back to back. The Fighting Gym here in Cyanwood, and the Steel Gym in Olivine. So, first things first, let's look at my crew. I need to put together an anti-fighting team. Now, um, so I did say that I would grind everyone up to level 30, and I have done so. Um, you know, it's gr grinded. <laughs> that means I have gotten a few evolutions. We have Sylph, now finally a Jumpluff, final evolution on that. Um, Faith is now a Hypno. Um, Ixion, now an Ampharos. That's so good. <laughs> um, Aron the Kingler is now, is now a Kingler. Um, Ultros is now a Tentacruel. And uh, Tella is a Noctowl. And the new catch, Sabine from the Safari Zone, is a Machoke. So this is everyone I have to work with. Now, out of my current squad, who can take out fighting types? Armin, of course, because you have a uh, wind attack, you're part flying, but not part normal, so you do resist fighting, and you have U-turn when things get too hairy. Armin is just kind of like a, a, a permanent feature on my squad. He is a real ride-or-die kind of Pokemon. Ah, uh, Titan. Your physical defense is really good, but you're weak to fighting. You're probably not a good choice here, so we'll move you into the box. Now, Lich. Uh, you may be immune to fighting and normal, but as I said, I would expect most of the fighting types in there to know rock moves. And you it's neutral damage from rock for you, but you're really fragile. I'm not sure I can risk you. Not when you're so close to becoming a Gengar. Because I do have a rule. Once a Pokemon hits level 35, they can be trade evolved. Omega. You don't suppose the Pokemon in there would know ground type moves, do you? That would be terrifying. And it still is weak to fighting besides, so... Same rules as Titan. They're tanky, but it's too scary. Gyarados can stay. Um, you're flying, so you resist fighting, and you have Intimidate, which can be a huge help, because, like, circa Generations 1 and 2, I don't... I, I, I'm pretty sure special fighting types just don't exist as a concept. Um, Matoya. Water and Psychic. Well... Psychic is good against fighting, but you're so slow. You'd always take a bunch of hits. I'm not entirely sure you'd do well. well. We'll see. So, who else? Now, flying types with, like, High Wind or Garuda are probably an obvious pick, but they're part normal. Um, I can definitely go with Butterfree. Times 4 resist. And you have Psy Beam. So, and you have the compound eyes, that's that's a really good thing, so I'm gonna pick you. I need to watch out for rock moves, but you're useful. I want to use you. There's also Sylph I could use, but let's have a look at Sylph's stats here. So, special attack is 40. And, uh, your best move is Mega Drain. 40 attack power. This thing would, like, 
I mean, I could use like Stun Spore, Leech Seed maybe, but a little accuracy on those? No. Self, you're pretty bad, so I'm gonna pass on you. I could take Hypno. Let's check his stats. So pretty low defense, all things considered. Uh, respectable HP. Wow. Is Hypno's special attack really that bad? It's lower than his attack. Well, he does know Psybeam, but... I have Pokemon with their attack stats in the 90s. I don't want to take a 44. Uh, I'll think about it. Ooh, I could take Beedrill. Nah, that's probably a waste. Um... You know, I don't suppose um, Ixion would do well. Let's have a look at you, Ixion. You do know Thunderbolt. That's neutral to fighting, but you have really good um, special attack. Defense and speed is so-so, though. And you might just pull out a clutch with that Thunder Wave. I might just do that. I might just take Ixion with me. So let's put you in the party for now. Now is there anyone else who jumps out at me? Garuda, maybe. Maybe? Hmm. Definitely not Alexander. Definitely not Raubon. Rotella. Ooh. You know, maybe one of my tentacruels would do well for me. Let's have a look at their stats. Okay, so... Bad defense. Okay, you're better defense. Holy crap. Ultros. Yeah, that's... That's a plus defense nature. Plus you have barrier. Sharply raises its defense. Um, Bubble Beam and Acid are neutral, but... You can also use Toxic Spikes. Oh, that'd be amazing against a Gym Leader. Um, maybe throw out a Barrier first turn, then Toxic Spikes, then whittle it down, get a switch. Ooh. You might be a really good pick for... The Gym Leader. Yeah. Okay, Ultros. Yeah. Let's do it. Ultros. I can't, I can't believe it. I said I would bury you so far deep in my crew and never see the light of day, but here we are. Okay. This is my squad. Let's do it. Okay. Here we are, we already fought that one trainer. He had a level 27 Pokemon, which made me think that 30 might be the best level to take on the gym leader. Um, so we'll start with Eos, because you are our riskiest pick here, and I want to see how you do against the trainers. Um, excuse me, you're blocking the stairs now. Uh, words are useless. Let our fists do the talking. Does Butterfree even have fists? Black Belt Knob. A Machop. Okay. Let's see how that Psy Beam does. Don't use Rock Throw. Okay. We're good. The Machop fainted. That's a really good sign. At least it can one-shot some trainer's Pokemon. Uh-oh. Okay, here's a Machop. Side beam again. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, karate chop. That's times four resist. That's very good. Okay. So the long and short of it is, it's kind of a toss-up then whether or not the enemy Pokemon will actually use a rock-type move. Uh, 
I guess I'll have to save Eos for the gym leader, just in case, but I won't be starting with Eos, no. I'll be starting with Ultros. Uh, so... Let's see how Matoya does now. I think you still just have Confusion? Hold on. Yeah, you still have Confusion. Ah, uh, that's a lot weaker than Psybeam. Crap. Your defense and HP is pretty good, though. Okay, so... Matoya is kind of a last-ditch effort, too. Yeah, let's... Let's give Leviathan some time this in the sun. Actually, no, actually. Ixion, you're an Ampharos. How have you been, buddy? It's been a while. Ixion is very eager. Oh, yeah. You've been on the bench long enough. Time to kick some tail. We martial artists fear nothing. Do you fear getting shocked to death? Like near all this water? Hmm? A Hitmonchan! Okay, these are renowned for their elemental punches, but we should be good. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt. Mock Punch! That is a priority move. Ooh! Wow, that was... That was pretty... Ooh. That was a lot of damage for a priority move. Uh... Let's finish it off? Okay, we're good. Even if that crits, we're good. Jeez. That was a bit... fearsome. <laughs> That's sh- Whoa! Yeah, I guess it is shocking. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't... Oh my god. <laughs> that, was, that was... Wow. Fighting type Pokemon are afraid of psychic types. <laughs> the game didn't account for trainers using electric types against him. That, it, that's just a coincidence, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, Leviathan. It'll do well. Uh... Oh, the big red button. Let's uh, press that big red button. A large winch. Will you turn it? Turn the winch with pure might. Ah, uh, there goes the water. What, what was the gym leader's name? Um, Chuck? Yeah, it was Chuck. My raging fists will shatter your Pokemon. We'll see about that. Change the way Black Belt Lung. A Mankey! On well, level 23, it stands no chance. Um. Yeah, why not strength? It's probably stronger than a bite. Especially because we have the Silk Scarf on Leviathan. So strength is easily his strongest move. We've definitely gotten to the point where we're out damaging Dragon Rage, which deals a static 40 damage. Oh, Primeape! <laughs> Love these things. They're they're a cool Pokemon. Pretty good damage. Ooh, Screech? That is scary. Well, we're faster than it, so we're good to go. Easy. With that, I think every trainer in the gym is defeated. I got shattered. My Pokemon lost. My my pride is shattered. <laughs> well, there's a gym leader. But I need to heal.
Okay. So, yeah, my strategy. Ultros, you ready? We're gonna have you out first, clean around and splash you in the water. Now's not the time. Um, gonna use barrier first turn. Might get outsped, but that's okay. Um, you're tanky. And the barrier will make you more tanky next turn. Then we'll have you use toxic spikes, which will poison Pokemon once they get swept out. So, we'll have you stay in battle for as long as possible, maybe take out the first Pokemon, and then we can swap into Gyarados for Intimidate and soften up the enemy even more. <sighs> Let's give it a shot. Do or die. Wait. Who, who turned up? I didn't even notice. Ruined my moment. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oof! The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Arg! Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle! Okay, bring it on, Chuck. How many Pokemon? Two! Ooh, that's kind of scary, actually. Okay, Primeape. Level 29, okay. Getting everyone to 30 was a good choice. So, right, first things first, Barrier. We do outspeed it, that's good, that's good. Defense sharply rose. Rock slide. Oh, Eo, stay away. You know what? Why not? Let's do a second barrier. Why not? Why not? Now, a critical hit will burst right through this raised defense, so I have. Oh, God, no. Oh, jeez. I hate double team so much. There is a reason competitive Pokemon has banned that move. Okay, Toxic Spikes. Good, it landed. Ah, oh, oh geez. I don't think I have any 100% accuracy moves, so... This is gonna be a long fight. Let's use Bubble Beam to take it out. Wow, good hits. You're doing well, Ultros. That's, that's respectable damage. Oh my god, three double teams. I hate everything about this. <laughs> no. Oh, here we go. It begins. Minuscule damage, but I have to watch for a crit. So I need to heal up soon. Okay, one more blow. I need to heal up after this, because a crit from here will probably kill Ultros. So, um, Super Potion, for sure. Oh, come on! No! That's not fair, only I can do that. Oh. This sucks. Cripes. Okay, that landed. That's good. Well, maybe it's for the best that he's not using Hyper Potions in his ace. It might be a scarier Pokemon. Okay, that's four double teams. I hate... I hate everything. I hate it. Oh. Chuck, you asshole. Enough of this chicanery. Oh. Miss, rock slide. Oh god. Oh jeez. The longer this goes, the more their odds there will be a crit on Ultros. Oh, okay. Now I just need to land one more. 
What's those crits? Okay. Oh! It missed! Good. How does that feel, Chuck? Huh? To miss an attack? Hmm? Hmm? Missed. What was the power points on Rock Slide? Please tell me you're running out soon. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh, that was that. Oh! I believe Focus Punch is a move that makes the Pokemon go first, but the first phase, uh. It enters into like a channeling state, and if it takes damage during that time, the dyna dynamic punch is interrupted. So combined with the evasion from Double Team, that is a powerful combo. That's a neat strategy you have, Chuck. So let me heal up once more. Second healing item. Now, it looks like Chuck is out of his own healing item, so that's good for me. Another dynamic punch. Oh, Rock Slide must be out of power points. Oh, that's good. That's really good for me. Ah, missed. I'm going to be taking a lot of these. Crap. Well, thankfully, that barrier is putting in good work. Just don't crit. And it hit. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was some bullcrap. I did not expect such levels of bullcrap. <laughs> now we need to kill this next Pokemon fast before it does the same. Polyrath! Okay, it's poison. That's the toxic spikes. We haven't lost yet. So, this thing will die in just a few turns, thanks to that. Okay, you resist Bubble Beam. Let's use Barrier once more. Why not? Now we're at maximum defense. We should be really good from here. I don't fear the hypnosis, because I equipped Ultros with a Lumberry. Let's try Acid. There's no reason to not have Ultros out as long as possible, because that barrier setup is so good. That is minuscule damage. Okay, Surf is a special move, so that's bypassing the barrier. Crap. Use Acid once more. Just chip it down. Oh, it has a berry. Citrus, so that restores like 20 or 30 HP. Oh, that barrier is putting in good work. One more Acid. Watch out for a crit. Body slam. Okay, we've gotten really lucky. No crits on us at all. No, not yet. I don't want to risk it, so... It's time. Uh, Leviathan, get out here and intimidate it. Yeesh, that's with Intimidate. Ugh. The barrier is, of course, gone, so... Let's finish it off? Oh, no! Whoa! You never used one on your... Oh! Okay, then. He was holding on to his second healing item for his ace. I see how it is. God, that's a lot of defense. It's tanking the strength from Leviathan with Silk Scarf. That's terrifying. But it should be down soon. Hypnosis. Ah, crap. Well, we should be good to go. It mm, should faint from this next poison, maybe. Maybe. Leviathan, you can stay out, just... Win this fight while asleep, okay? OK? 
Come on. Of course. Well, just survive one more turn, Leviathan, and then you'll win. Just survive this one turn. That's all you need to do, buddy. I did it. Player defeated Leader Chuck. We lost. Damn straight you did. Huh. I lost? How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. Damn straight. The Storm Badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. But I don't, I don't, I don't have fly yet. Here, take this too. TM01. That is Focus Punch. It doesn't land if the foe you're attacking hits you first, but it's very powerful if it manages to hit. Hmm. Wahaha, <laughs> I enjoyed battling you. But a loss is a loss. From now on, I'm going to train 24 hours a day. Like, Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, let's heal up. Oh! That's Cyanwood's gym badge. Then you should take the- Oh, that's really convenient. HMO2, that's Fly. <laughs> Teach Fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. Ah, oh, great. Now I have no excuse whatsoever not to go to the Pokeathlon Dome. Ugh. Wait. What am I doing? I... H... This entire time I could have had taught... Uh, I could have taught Surf to Ultros 95 power. I could have... I could have taught Surf to Ultros to replace the Bubble Beam. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. More, power by, more powerful by 30. Oh, jeez. Man. So, I could think of no Pokemon more deserving to learn fly than High Wind. Because High Wind is both a person and an airship. The first Highwind was Kane Highwind from Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, not XIV, IV. Just, just IV. And he was a Dragoon, and Dragoons are known for jumping. Which means they jump high into the sky, avoiding all attacks, and then come down a few turns later to do high damage. And that's what Fly does in this game. And what's more, I can use it to fly to another place, just like an airship. So, Highwind, this... You were born for this. Ah, take me right over the sea. To Olivine. Right. Now, I need to put together an anti-steel team. Okay. I have an anti-steel team assembled. So, let's take a look at who we got. I have Ifrit, because flamethrower, powerful special attacker, and it's good to have my starter back in the crew. Leviathan, now your strength and bite won't do any good, but Dragon Rage will at least do something. It bypasses Steel's high defenses. Plus, your Intimidate is oh so useful. If I send you out against the Gym Leader's Ace Pokemon, which is probably Steelix, then that'd be a big help. Ultros, um, might be weak to Magnemites, or God forbid, Magnetons, or heavens forbid, uh, Magnezone, but uh, no, they wouldn't put Magnezone in here. Um, You might do well with Surf, 
And you have barrier and toxic spikes, you, you proved your usefulness to me. I mean, I already knew that a tentacruels are good Pokemon, but you impressed me in that gym fight against Chuck, so bravo Ultros, you get to stay around. Titan, immune to electric, handily takes out any Magnemites or Magnetons. Gotta have ya. Plus, ground is strong against steel, so it can deal with anything. You're probably our best pick here. Sabine, steel is weak to fighting, but you're a physical attacker, and steel types have immense physical defense, so you're kind of a last ditch effort. Hydaelyn, you're fragile and weak, but I did teach you flamethrower, so at least you can do something. So hopefully, we can handle this with just these four. Sabine and Heidelin are last-ditch efforts. With that said, let's challenge the second gym. Or, um, sixth gym, actually. Let's do this. Test the waters. I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping the gym leader, but, uh, gym leader, but battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Wait, what? No fights? Okay, who's n Okay, you're a fight. G -g Giggle? I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. What? this gym? This gym is nothing! What? No puzzles? No trainer fights? What? Really? Um... Okay. Great, I don't know what levels I'm dealing with here. Ah, uh, please don't be too much more powerful than Chuck. So, I'm pretty sure Magnemite and... Skarmory and Steelix are the only steel types that exist in Generation 1 and 2. Okay, Titan, you can handle all of those, but Skarmory... Well, I do have Rock Throw, and that might do well. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wing it. Oh, God. It's do or die once more. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is a different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, the gym leader. I use the... Claim? Steel type. Do you know about the steel type? They are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. I believe you. <laughs> oh... Oh man, here we go. Three Pokemon. Okay, Magnemite. That's good. That's probably- Oh, level 30. Oh, jeez. Her ace is gonna be something strong. Oh, man. Well, for now, it's an even fight, so... Magnitude. Wait, do I want to use Rock Polish? No, I could set up a sweep if I did. Okay, what can this thing realistically do against me? It might know... That, well, it can't use Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt or any electric move, but... It probably knows Sonic Boom, which deals 20 damage flat. And it might know a Steel-type move. That would deal high damage to Titan. But if we're fast, can get by it, especially when it sends out another Pokemon, so... This is a calculated risk. We're already faster than it, oh my god. <laughs> I forgot how slow Magnemite is. Supersonic? Okay, that's good. Let's get this thing out of there. It's times four weak to ground, so there's no way it wouldn't die. Uh, 
There it is. Oh. Level 35 Steelix. Oh, jeez. Um, let's magnitude and hope for the best. This will be physical damage against it, so... Oh, man, that's not a lot. Iron Tail! Ooh! <laughs> you carried me so far, my buddy. Oh, Titan. I'm sorry. I should have seen that coming. Iron Tail. I thought you could take one hit. I thought you could take one hit at least. Oh, Titan, I failed you. Leviathan, help me avenge him. Use Intimidate, lower its attack. Oh, Titan, that stings, that really stings. Okay, Dragon Rage, cut right through its high defense. We do outspeed it, that's good. Okay, that's, that's solid damage. I suppose. It does have a citrus berry. Rock... Oh, that's flying! Oh no! Leviathan! Oh! Okay, that's... That's not bad. That's not bad for a super effective blow. That's not bad at all. That Intimidate really helped. Okay, um... God, so if you have Rock Throw... Oh, good lord, if Freet and Heidelin can't do a thing to you. Crap, I can't send out a Freet or Heidelin against you. That is really bad for me. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, Dragon Rage. I think we have a good thing going here, but Jasmine probably has potions. Another rock throw. Ugh. So here's what's going to happen. Jasmine is going to heal up. Which means I have a free turn. I'm going to use that to send out Ultros and apply a barrier. Just as I thought. Predicted it. Okay. So we'll set up this barrier and from there We'll heal up Leviathan, and then later we can send out Leviathan again and apply another Intimidate. Wait. Jasmine has a Pokemon in the wings. She can swap it out. Oh, that's not good. And Steel type is immune to poison. Uh, or the status effect. So there's no point in using Toxic Spikes. Okay, barrier. We outspeed it. That's really good. Okay. Sandstorm. Oh no. That's not good. We're gonna take damage every single turn. Another barrier. Why not? It's for the best. Then we can start using, um, Surf. Iron Tail. Here it comes. Here it comes. That's not bad. I do have to worry about crits, though. It's the same story as against Chuck. Surf. Wait. I should... Oh, man. It's gonna send out an electric type afterwards, isn't it? Okay. Iron Tail. Here it comes. Oh, the blow that killed my Titan in one hit. Ah, oh, jeez. So, I need to heal up... No, actually... Odds are, you're gonna sound at a Magnemite or Magneton, so... Sending out Leviathan would be a bad idea anyway. 
Now I need to use Surf once more. I need to kill the Steelix immediately. Okay. Oh. It's dead. Titan has been avenged. Okay, we're buffeted by that sandstorm. Um, the weather should run out. Okay, just a regular lowly Magnemite. Probably Tempered Steel won't be made rusty by things like this. Oh, thank god that's not a Magneton. It could be because it's level 30, but the game is having mercy. Ugh, <laughs> oh, I have to look at Titan, man. Okay, Ifrit, you're neutral to it. Um, I'll send you out. Maybe get a flamethrower on it. Oh, if only I had Titan, I could block its electric bolt. Ooh, Thunderbolt! Mm. That's gonna sting. Oh! I need to gamble on two things. First, Ifrit needs to outspeed this thing. Second, the flamethrower has to destroy it in one blow. If I am wrong about either of these things, my starter will die. And you know what? I believe in Ifrit. I believe Ifrit can do it. I am 95% certain that this move will end the fight. I believe in him. I do. <sighs> I did it. Well done. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with the League rules, I confer upon you this badge. Receive the Mineral Badge from Jasmine. With that badge, all Pokémon, including traded Pokémon up to level 70, will obey you without question. Um, please take this, too. Obtain the TM-23. It is called Iron Tail. Your Pokémon will hit the target with its hard tail, occasionally lowering the target's defense. I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Oh, it feels like a hollow victory. Titan. Oh, Titan. Oh, it's time to say our farewells. I, didn't, I was hoping I would never have to use this box, but here we are. Oh, Titan. You stonewalled Falconer. You stonewalled Bugsy. You are indispensable against Whitney and so many other types of Pokemon in the wild and against trainers. Titan, you got me through some rough patches, man. And you were so close to evolving. Just five more levels and you could be a golem. Oh. Titan, you may be gone. But you are not forgotten. You were an MVP to the very last. Farewell, Titan. Rest now. In the great cloudy beyond. Goodbye. Well, while we're here, I suppose it's time to think about what I'm going to do on my route to um, the next town. We need to go to Mahog Mahog Mahogany Town. 
And to get there, we need to go to Ecrutik, so... Might as well just take out Highwind real quick and fly there. Then we can think about our team. Okay, got a new squad set up. Let's have a look at what I'm dealing with. So, I brought along Ketchi because I know we're going to exploring Mount Mortar. And, uh... Yeah, um, Omega is good at catching, but not against ground types. And we might be running into ground types, so... Ketchy has False Swipe and Spore at the ready. Um, also bringing Matoya for a Surf and Ice Beam and uh, Confusion and all that goodness. Leviathan's pretty good. Um, Dragon Rage is like a great equalizer. It's good against everything, plus Intimidate's nice. Aramin is Aramin, staying on for obvious reasons. Omega is Omega, staying on for obvious reasons. And Raubon... I actually want to... Keep him around in my inventory for a bit because I want to raise his friendship. And I do that by having him in my party. Why do I want to raise his friendship? Because of Return, an extraordinarily powerful TM move, which is normal type, and that would be a great fit on Raubon, I think, so... Yeah, he's around just to soak up friendship points. Now, before we depart, we just cleared out two gyms. There must be a lot of new stuff in the Pokemart. Let's see. Ultra Balls. Ooh. Okay, I have six. Don't exactly want to spend too much money on them. Uh, revives. Are we all good on my status cure items? Paralyze heal. Ooh, could do with a few of those. Sure. Burn heal. Gotta, eh, let's buy two of those. Why not? Ice Seal... Uh, it's rare enough, I don't... well... Uh, didn't I see on the map there's some sort of ice cave up ahead? Let's buy two. Five is a nice number to have. Escape Rope. Ooh, I only have one. Let's definitely buy three. Max Repels. Nice. Um... Hmm... Do you think super repels are technically more cost effective? Wait, I can't math. Hold on. Okay, so 200 divided by 4 is 50. And 500 divided by 4 is um, 1.5? No. 1.2 point... Wait. Um, I'll just buy a few more. Why not? Okay. Let's just settle that. <laughs> now, on to a new frontier. To the east. We poked our heads out here a long time ago, but we didn't catch any Pokemon. Not 42. Right, I think we got the TA, uh, the TM Shadow Claw right up there. So there's a lot of trees I could headbutt. And there's water. I think we're definitely good on water types, so I prefer a headbutt Pokemon. But looking at the map... Route 42 here, it's divided in two by Mount Mortar and comes out on the other side. There might be grass on that side, so we'll see. Well, we certainly haven't looked into Mount Mortar at all. I have no idea what we're dealing with. Oh, please, don't need Flash. Please don't require Flash. Ah, oh, jeez. No Flash. Good. Well, let's see what our encounter will be. Another entrance. Lots of water. See an item. I want it. Um, oh my. Okay, encounter. Don't taunt me, game! Oh man. Okay, look. Going by my rules, there's realistically nothing whatsoever that um 
stops me from catching this thing. I could catch it. I could have another Graveler in a flash. I could pretend nothing happened. That would feel wrong. Good day, sir. So there's a staircase behind me, a staircase here, an entrance here. Oh man, this is a bit maze-like. Wait, is this going out back to Route 42? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Another zoo bat. I don't need another one of you. We are good on that front. Also, these Pokemon are level 13? Hello? I just fought a level 35 Pokemon. What Miss me with this level 13 stuff. Oh. Well, here's Route 42. And there is grass. Okay, that's a, that's a fisherman. Who's facing away from the water? Uh, let's catch something here in the grass. Why not? I need to stop saying why not. I've said that like a thousand times this video. Wow. A Geodude, a Zubat, and a Mareep. It's all my best hits. But no, I prefer something new. Ooh, that took a while. I was I was about to give up, actually. It was nothing but Mareep, Flaffy, and Spiro here. But Mankey! New fighting type, that's pretty good. Okay, um... Let's begin with Spore. It's asleep now. Oh! I always remember too late. I need to use a quick ball more. Dang it. Uh, well... This will be an easily secured catch, so no problem. Oh, it woke up. No, no. Hush, hush, child. Back to sleep. Back to sleep. Okay, so what Final Fantasy character is just angry as hell? Really angry man. Hmm. The Pig Monkey Pokemon. It is extremely ill-tempered. Groups of them will attack any handy target for no reason. <laughs> okay, so... Um... There was this Final Fantasy ca uh, character action game by Team Ninja. The Neo team, to be precise. Um, the protagonist of that game seemed really angry from what um, promotional material I saw. Like, interrupting character speeches, to punch them in the face, going like, bullshit, then walking away while listening to rock music. Um, I think his name was Jack, right? Is that him? Jack Fantasy? From Final Fantasy? Yeah? Okay. Jack it is. So, um, if the town's right here... I may as well just go right ahead. Uh, let's deal with this trainer, though. Test the waters with Armin. Hey! This is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Sir, you're like five steps outside of the town. Pokemaniac Shane. Need Arena. Seventeen? It feels like I could have come here immediately after finding Ecruteek. Huh. Well, okay. Don't use Poison Point. Oh wait, no, Armin's poison itself, it can't be poisoned. We're good. And Anita Rhino. Slow 
level 17 Pokemon. That is kind of pathetic. I should have used my Moonstone. Yes, yes you should. You're working on a Pokedex? Wow, you must know some pretty rare Pokemon. May I please see it, please? Uh, ooh, a hiker. I have a water type with me, right? Uh, yeah, Matoya. This should be a super low-level Pokemon, so... What's the other side of Mount Mortar like, do you know? If you can beat me, I'll let you know. Well, I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> Hiker Benjamin. Sent out Diglett. Level 15 Diglett. That is genuinely pathetic, sir. I am personally insulted. And it's still faster. Matoya, you're so slow. Doug Trio, okay. That's a bit more respectable, but level 17. Magnitude 6. Yikes. That was a very sarcastic yikes, I should say. <laughs> and a Geodude. I can't look at your face. <laughs> oh no. Oh, every time. Everywhere I go. I see Titan's face. Oh man. Oh jeez. I said a pretty boastful lie. I'm sorry. There's this huge waterfall in the way, so I've never been on the other side of Mount Mortar. Okay. Looks like our exploration of Mount Mortar might be curtailed a bit. Mahogany Town. We made it. Home of the Ninja? Oh. Dark type gym, maybe? Are you off to see the Gyarados rampage at the lake? Maybe. Uh, leader Price. Price. Um. The teacher of winter's harshness. Oh, ice type move. Okay. Uh. Ice gym, huh? Have you seen this guy with a black cape? He has been going back and forth between here and the Lake of Rage, saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. Who is he, I wonder? Now, it's been a long time since I played through the Johto region, over 20 years, but I have a strong memory of this. Anyway, I'll heal up. And now it's time to end the video. I am happy and proud to have defeated two gym leaders in one single video, but we lost a friend. The first blood was spilled. The difficulty is truly ramping up. We're running into evolved Pokemon more and more. A single slip can spell disaster. Man, I can't believe Titan died like that. Wait, it's only rock that's weak to steel, right? Wait, ground isn't weak to steel too, right? Hold, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, it isn't. It's just rock. That was a times two um, super effective, so... Just a regular one. God, I didn't think Steelix had such high attack. I know it was boosted slightly by the evolution, but man. It really chewed that far through Titan's immaculate defense. Man. 
Well, next time, we'll finish exploring Route 42. There might be a secret or something in the, in the water. And then we'll fully explore Mount Mortar to the best of our capacity. And we'll also check out Mahogany Town. And if time permits, we'll head north up to... Ooh, wrong button. Ah, get that radio out of here. Wait. What's... The hell? None of the regular channels are here. It's all replaced. That's weird, but... Um... If time permits, we'll head up to Route 43. Maybe see the Lake of Rage. Find out what happens from there. Um... This radio is really annoying. How do I turn it off? Okay, there we go. Uh, well, yeah. Man, I'm gonna miss Titan. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. So until then, please take care.